Hi, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Entrepreneur Showcase Series brought to you by Petrania Media LLC and Parkway Media Partners. I'm your host, Petrania Poonswan. And today we are so excited because we're getting so close to the holiday season. And there's a very special event coming up this coming weekend on Saturday, November 18th um, at Lake Las Vegas at Montalago Village. And we have some very special guests to come and share this very special news. We have um, singer and songwriter. Annie Meadows joining us today and she's a big part of getting this event started many years ago and it's still going strong. We also have Mary Rendina. She is part of the volunteer group that's helping to get this event together and also we have Mr. Andy Garcia. He is with South Shore Country Club joining us via Zoom today as well and he's going to talk about how there is a, a great nonprofit tie to this event as well. So we're going to get to Andy in just a little bit but first of all the tree lighting and this year the theme is Celtic Christmas at Montalago Village at Lake Las Vegas. This is going to be a special one with this great theme. So Annie Meadows, I'm going to start with you because you and your husband, um, you know, talk to us about how this came about because this is a very special story. My husband, now deceased, and I were having dinner at the Ritz-Carlton, which is now the Hilton, uh, in the garden, and it was late November, mm -hmm. and we looked over and we saw the silhouette of a large Christmas tree. And then we saw a handful of people um, gather. Then we heard a Christmas carol sung, a countdown, and suddenly the tree and all the lights in the garden came on. Mm. We were intrigued. It was very unassuming. I went to the management soon after and asked them about the tree lighting, if I might be able to take it and probably make something bigger out of it. And the rest is history. Now it I have been told by Mr. Andy Garcia that is the second largest event next to July 4th that takes wow. place at Lake Las Vegas. That's amazing. We actually have a picture of, you know, this tree when it was lit up in years past. And it's just been such a big part of the holiday season for that part of town in Lake Las Vegas. And Annie, you're a, um, a singer and you will be bringing the entertainment to this event. So talk to looking at the picture of this tree. It's so beautiful. You're expecting what? Almost 2000 people to come out here this weekend. They fill the village. Mm. It is just such a hallmark moment. It's a very community moment as well. A lot of love and peace and joy. And I have so many wonderful people going to join me, Felicity Cunningham and her dancers. Mm -hmm. And they have tap boards and they tap dance. Also, uh, the Emerald Society bagpipe band and drummers. Yeah, we have uh, some pictures of them as well, I think from last, last year, right? Or oh, past years. Yeah, we had a smaller band at the time, but now we're going to have a, a larger bagpipe. Kevin Chapman, uh, he's the son of icon Morris Chapman, will be mm -hmm. singing. Wow. Uh, also, um, we have this little boy. He's our drummer boy. He kind of sets the stage and walks in playing the snare drum. And his name is Owen Sutherland. Wow. So it's just a beautiful group of people. And I love that the community really come together. And we were saying how Lake Las Vegas has just grown, especially in the last few years, with more and more people moving there. And Mary, um, let's bring you in here because you have been part of this event and you've volunteered your time and really supported Annie through this process. I mean, what's your reaction to seeing this event grow over the years? It is so exciting to see this, not only for all the fun that everybody's going to have to come out there, but the support that it's going to bring with China Light Foundation being looped in, and then the village being able to have the economic drive to mm -hmm. bring people out there. They'll be dining that evening, they'll be shopping. So it's, um, it's wonderful to see not only what's going to take place that evening, but also the impact that it's going to have um, for those shop owners and restaurant owners. Um, and also Shine a Light Foundation. And that I think that's so important because, you know, Lake Las Vegas has been growing. People who don't live there don't necessarily always know all the great things that they have there. And it's really kind of wonderful that people get to kind of experience this, not just during the summer, but now during the holiday season as well. Absolutely. And we did a couple of cameo shots for social media where Annie went and highlighted the businesses that are there and who will be open that evening and, and just how we can support them. And if you are coming out and you want to have dinner at one of those fabulous restaurants, yeah. make sure 
to get a reservation early, <laughs> they will sell out quickly. Good advice. And Annie, talk to us about some of the, what you will be singing. I mean, I really wanted to, I've never, I think I've interviewed you a while ago, but just to see this live in person would be really wonderful. Well, the first song, I guess you would say, is a medley. Mm. And it's a medley of Christmas, traditional Christmas carols. Mm -hmm. And I love doing this because I encourage all of those in the crowd to sing with me and causing just such a fun time for the children and the adults. And then also the last song I sing, I will for the first time be walking up to the tree wow. and singing in front of the tree. Oh, come all ye faithful, a beautiful um, old fashioned carol. Mm -hmm. uh, but I end with opera. Mm. And that's a, that's a part of me that most people don't know that I uh, am able to do. I did not know that. And I think that brings something really unique, right, to, to uh, tree lighting, a uh, Christmas holiday. It does. It's a part of Andy that they don't always see in concerts. Yeah, that is, that is so wonderful. I can't wait to see it. And what I really love about this event, too, is it, there is a part of, you know, and today is actually, you know, World Kindness Day. I think this is a great way to bring this in because you're doing a really great thing with the Sock Drive and the Shine a Light Foundation. And let's bring Andy in to talk about this. You're with South Shore Country Club, which is right there um, in that area. Talk to us about um, how you got involved and how this became kind of a passion project for you. Yeah, absolutely. I've been involved with uh, Lake Las Vegas since probably about 2016. So uh, just to say Annie's a blessing to uh, have as part of the Lake Las Vegas family. And I've been able to uh, experience all her amazing Christmas tree lighting shows that she's put on. Mm. Um, and now being at South Shore Country Club, we were looking for something to really bring the community together and, and just bring everybody. Um, as you will know, there's a separate entities in Lake Las Vegas. And yeah. then, of course, um, being such a part of Henderson, but you know, Las Vegas is in our name. So reaching out to the Valley, we um, decided to go for a sock drive. Um, socks are one of the most important things and needs for the homeless mm -hmm. here in the Las Vegas Valley. And in the past, I've done some uh, work with Shine a Light Foundation. And Shine a Light Foundation, they are actually uh, a group of, of just volunteers uh, that go underneath the tunnels and serve mm -hmm. the homeless underneath the um, like the drainage system and the tunnels here in Las Vegas. Right. So the nice thing about Shine a Light though, not only do they take supplies, but they also have an iPath program which actually offers help for the homeless to um, literally get out from underneath the streets back into society hmm. and uh, live a life on top of the streets. Um, they offer a uh, detox program. They also have case management, um, housing, um, you name it. And so, to work with them uh, again has been amazing and allowing them to, uh, or allowing us to partner with them uh, to build awareness for what they do um, and, and, and get, you know, looking for a thousand pairs of socks, if yeah. not a lot more. So. And is this the first time that you're doing this with um, the tree lighting ceremony or has this been done before? Um, we actually, this is going to be the first year for uh, actually teaming up with Annie and oh, doing wonderful. a sock drive. I yeah. believe Annie, we probably teamed up together and did the sweater drive uh, yes. when we did sweaters back in the day. Um, but, um, you know, it was, it was, it was awesome to talk to Annie, uh, let her know what we were doing um, and to see if we could partner with her amazing event. Yeah. And Annie, I think your story of, um, you know, there's a, a pair of socks that you were holding on to, mm. to actually give, um, you know, a homeless that you saw. And so kind of tying in me talking to her about what can we do, uh, her experience with that, Annie said, yes, let's do it. So it's it's been really cool to kick it off this way. And Annie, this must be a great feeling not to just entertain people, but to be able to give back in this way as well, right? It absolutely is because my goal is to bless people. I love people and uh, being able to not only help the village and the Lake Las Vegas area um, and Las Vegas, but then to help people that are so less fortunate than us. Mm -hmm. uh, we ought to always remain grateful for what we have because it could be us. Yeah. That's so true. And Mary, I know you and you've roped your, your daughter in, right, your family to kind of help with this event as well. What are you um, getting the word out? How are you letting people know what to do, where to give, how to get to this event and be all the big part of it? 
Um, sure. The evening of the event, mm -hmm. there will be a collection point at Seasons Market and you go in there and you donate your socks and they graciously are going to be giving out some eggnog for us. Mm -hmm. And then um, Bella Linda is going to be giving out hot chocolate and we're going to have Santa there. And my daughter, um, coincidentally, when we <laughs> met with Andy a couple of weeks ago and was working with him on this, my daughter recently joined the advisory board That's for great. Shine the Light Foundation. So yeah. it's kind of a, a family affair to get involved with that and bring that awareness and get people to donate. And then Andy is also going to have other drop off points throughout the community past the Lake Las Vegas uh, event that evening so people can donate, you know, through that as well. Yeah, Andy, do you want to share that? I mean, this is just not during the event, but after that, people can still give back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, with uh, the Christmas tree lighting being the kickoff event, um, we also will be partnering with various businesses throughout Henderson and Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. You know, not everybody, unfortunately, can make it out to Lake Las Vegas to drop off socks. So uh, making this spread out to uh, out the valley and giving people the opportunity to, you know, um, donate. Um, one of the nice things too at South Shore Country Club, you know, if you donate socks, we're going to let you register to win for, you know, free rounds of golf, um, just for, you know, actually extra, wow. just the offer to give. Um, and we want to take care of people that are able to join us in this as well. That's wonderful. Well, Annie, I know you've been doing this show for many, many years, but there's something new and exciting for this year. If people have been in years past that they can check out this year, right? Absolutely. We always take it to a different level each year. I think this is our largest production. Uh, it really encompasses a large part where we are in the square. Mm -hmm. I chose to do that uh, starting three years ago because I wanted to be closer to the people rather than so far away on the floating stage for mm -hmm. the entire show. And I will be making my way out to the floating stage for one song and then, like I said, up to the tree to finish out for the finale, along with the cast. Yeah, any special, anything else that you plan to surprise people with that you're excited about personally? Well, actually the, the meet and greet beforehand, mm -hmm. uh, you know, most performers uh, choose to remain solitude and um, just preparing themselves before a show. But like I said, I love people. And I uh, want to come out at 5 p.m. and there in the square uh, be able to greet people and children and shake hands and get to know people for a while. And then at 5.30, I'm going to make my way down to Seasons Market. And, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm thinking Nate Tannenbaum and Chalmer Harper and some of the cast will be joining me as well. That's awesome. And so that's kind of new this year to do that before the show. That's great. Well, as we're wrapping up our conversation here, Mary, um, where can people get more information? What do they need to know before to get um, to the event and make sure that it's a, a wonderful night? Well, they can um, contact Andy for anything having to do with the um, with the sock drive, mm -hmm. so we can get them the information for that. Annie, also, if you go to Facebook, mm -hmm. Annie Meadows has a page on there, and you can like and follow her, and we've been advertising everything through there as well. Mm -hmm. Or you can, um, Annie, you want to give them your email address if they want to email the ministry. Well, actually, it is all on the, the new, I have a new uh, website, uh, faithrunner.org, all one word, F-A-I-T-H-R-U-N-N-E-R, -E faithrunner.org. There on my calendar, there's an interactive um, map, if you will, that shows directions and so forth. That's great. And Andy, um, if they want to get more information on Shine and Light Foundation and on the sock drive, where can they go? Actually, you just go to explore.southshoreccllv.com. And then if you do slash sock drive, I've set up um, all the information with our flyer for sock drive, but I've also included buttons to where you can click and it'll take you to uh, Shine a Light's website. Um, it'll also offer you an opportunity to purchase socks and it'll go directly to Shine a Light. Also, there's a link to the village events page that'll give you more information on the Christmas tree lighting. Mm -hmm. um, so we have that all lined up. Once again, it's explore.southshoreccllv.com slash sock drive. Thank you so much. Yeah, the Christmas tree lighting happening already on November 18th, this Saturday at Montalago Village at Lake Las Vegas. Everyone is welcome. Annie Meadows will be performing. Can't wait for that. Of course, as she said, Tate, Nate Tenenbaum from Channel 8 will be one of the hosts as well, getting him in the action. Mayor and Dina and all our volunteers will be out there to help people 
people get to this event and make sure that it's a wonderful one. And thank you so much, Andy Garcia from South Shore Country Club for your work with the Shine Light Foundation and to get this sock drive started as well. So Andy, last word from you. What do you want to tell the people coming out there this Saturday? I know the Formula One is going on. It's a big event for our city. But this is before the Formula One race is mm-hmm. at 10 p.m. And yeah. we're from 6 to 7.30. Pre-party, right? Why not make a whole <laughs> evening? <laughs> Start with the Christmas tree lighting, a family hallmark time, and then go for the races. Love it. All right. Well, thank you so much, Annie, Andy, and Mary, for joining me on the show today. And to get the word out about this tree lighting, Celtic Christmas happening this Saturday, November 18th at Montalago Village at Lake Las Vegas. And thank you, everybody, for watching and listening. And we'll see you again next time.